Hi, everyone, and welcome to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, Senior Trainer and Support here at Digital Drafting Systems. The following is an excerpt from our What is New in Revit 2024 webinar. Please do not hesitate to drop us a line should you have any questions. Enjoy our presentation. We also have some project browser improvements, okay, which is the multiple views and schedules that we can actually now add simultaneously. Not only do we have the ability to select them from the project browser, but we also have a new little button or icon that we can see in Sheets Composition. This particular one will give you this dialog box, which only depicts those views that are available. So in this particular dialog box, by using this, you won't have to guesstimate which one of these are going to are being used already in Sheets. Now, there is something that I want to show you uh, that will illustrate the important reasons for this little button. And that is when what happens when we have turned off this little um, advice or little box that, in, that explains to us that those particular views have been placed on sheets. Let's see how that works. Okay, in here, as we can see, we have some um, that are in blue and some that are, are not in blue, which are the whites. What happens if these are off? just like this, we have no idea where these particular views are. I mean, yes, we do. I mean, honestly speaking, we can actually go to the view and here in properties, okay, we can actually locate what particular sheet that is in. And then we have to go and look for that sheet here in the list. A bit problematic, I think. So this is gonna be a little bit difficult and we actually have a new tool that actually allows us, as we said earlier, to actually not only not have to go searching for the particular view or sheet that the view is on. We can just do it directly from either the browser or from the view, from the uh, from the actual view itself. But right now we are exploring on to how to actually go ahead and place this on sheets. This is the way we do it. Let's go ahead and see this art, this uh, art, um, architectural schedule one. Um, okay, let's go ahead and place some some views in here. All we have to do is come in in here and Look what happens. I happen to know that the, oh, let's take this off for a second so we have a little bit better uh, preview. This, uh, we happen to know that this one is, is in a, on a sheet and this one's not. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab these two or rather, yeah, let's grab these two and just pass them over. You get an error because it's telling you this view is already placed on sheet A102. It's actually telling you not only that it's placed, it's actually telling you where it's placed. And that's, we're talking about architecture one, this, this uh, uh, level two rather. Okay, so that is the way that it actually tells you that this one of these particular views is actually placed on a sheet. Okay, let's go ahead and I happen to know that the site and the roof are not placed on sheets and let's see what happens when we actually place them. I'm just gonna pull out a little bit because there's something else that we need to see when this happens. Okay, and which is just drag and drop. And what happens is you'll notice that there seems to be an alignment between the two views that we just selected to place. What is that alignment? It's actually based on the midpoint of the actual viewport that we have here, aligning to the to the midpoint of the other other viewport. So this is one way of uh, of see of doing this. Once again, if you don't have the particular box that shows us what these which ones of these are have been placed on a on a sheet, then it's a little bit more difficult. And it is there that reason why this other actually actual way to actually do this has been used. Let's go ahead and come back over here to the view. And in views, you'll notice that in create, the scope box is grayed out. Why? Because I need to be in one of the, it has to be plan views in order for the scope box to be uh, uh, made available. Once this is done and this is available, you can then select the scope box. Sorry, not the scope box, sorry. Uh, we're actually looking at place in view, which is, this is already placed, so it's gotta be here. Here we go, oops, the daisy. There it is, okay, we need to be in the sheets, I'm sorry, that's the, that's the other one is to actually to, put, to move them. But in, in the sheet here, we can actually go to the view uh, um, ribbon, and we go to the sheets composition, and we go to the view. When selecting the view, we have a list of all of the available views that we can use to place. For example, uh, let's say, for example, that we have a legend of symbols here. 
or maybe we have the uh, mechanical, okay? By selecting multiples from this list here, we can say okay, and it automatically, once again, allows you to place multiple, and, and as we can see, once again, the alignment is based on the midpoint of the view itself, okay? So with that, we have now seen multiple views placed on sheets. Moving forward now, we also have the open the sheet directly from the view or from the project browser. What does that mean? It means that now we can be in a view here, example, and we can right click on it and it will go to move, I'm sorry, go open sheets right there, okay? So this will automatically take you to the sheet. Or you can actually come over here to one of these, okay, and do the same thing. But you can also double click on the view, right click uh, on the view itself in the canvas area, and once again, you have open sheet right there. And it opens up the sheet immediately. Super easy, very useful for productivity, especially it, it doesn't, it, it allows us not to have to go looking for the particular sheet that we're that we're actually uh, have in question at that point moving forward we have move align to enhance to uh, sheets this is actually extremely useful because it as i said earlier it allows us not to have to delete a view from a sheet and then place it on a new one let's see how that works let's say for example that we want to grab this particular view right here, and let's go ahead and open up on one view that doesn't have any views in it. Uh, this one, perfect. A30 architectural building sections. We're going to use this as an example. I know it's not supposed to be the sheet that this goes on, but it serves as the ability for us to be able to see how this actually works. So let's go back to the north uh, uh, view right here, and we can actually come over to the views here, right click on it, and say move aligned to sheets, okay? When we do that, I want you to actually see where this actual sheet is at. So, so let's open the sheet for the elevation here, which is A201, okay? So we're actually gonna transfer it from here over to A301, and it's going to be aligned exactly where it's supposed to be. So let's go ahead and uh, let's close some of these other ones so we can then see how this actually works with both, both views open. And let's go ahead and tile them, ZA for zoom all. Okay, and let's go ahead and come over here, right click and say move align to sheet. It's going to ask us what sheet it is that you want to align it to. And in this particular case, we're going to put it into A301, which is right, uh, I just saw it there, right there. So when we say, okay, watch what happens. Super cool, isn't it? Right away, moves it right over and we can switch it right back. This way, not only do we have to do it, do we have to do it, or, or not only can we do it from the browser, but we can also do it from the view itself. Okay, and that one's going to be 201, and okay, and there it is exactly. I mean, it's it's so exact that even the revision cloud that we've got here is actually has been actually um, aligned to where it's supposed to be in this particular case.